Hello everyone. Welcome to my first ship review on YouTube. And it is going to be a pretty spicy one. This is the upcoming Tier 10 British Battlecruiser Incomparable. Uh, it will be available in patch 11.0 for 31,000 steel. Uh, before I begin, I have to mention that this is not the final uh, release version of the ship. Uh, when it launches, it will have a one second reload nerf. Uh, but that's not really going to change that much, in my opinion. So, what does this ship do? What is it? What's its thing? Uh, where do I even begin? It's got a lot of things going on. Uh, you can see in the bottom, first off, it's got every single consumable you can think of. Uh, speed boost, hydro, it's a basically the daring hydro, uh, long duration, short range, uh, spotter plane, and you see it only has three heals, however they are basically goliath heals. Um, you can see in the bottom left uh, by the ship HP, it can heal uh, almost, I think that it's not showing this, the heal flag, but with the heal flag you can heal 39,000 damage around there, uh, if I recall correctly. Uh, I'll have to double check that. But uh, what else does it have? Well, it has the second biggest guns in the game currently, uh, three 508mm guns. Uh, it has incredible concealment at 10.6, which means you outspot a Des Moines, along with most of the other cruisers at tier 10 which, in my opinion, is completely ridiculous and should not be... Its concealment is way too good. <laughs> the range on it is pretty short. Uh, if you can see, it only has 17 points a kilometer range. Um, and you might say, oh, a battle tier 10 battleship or battle cruiser with only 17 points a kilometer range? That's terrible. Uh, when you have 10.6 conceal... It really doesn't matter. I've I tried it with range mod, and I far prefer reload mod. There's very few situations that you're gonna be in where you're going to wish that you had uh, range mod. I think reload mod is just far superior. Uh, I mentioned the speed boost. Uh, it is also extremely fast if you take brisk. Uh, which I highly recommend. I pretty much run it on all my battleships now because it's such a strong skill, but especially strong on a ship like this. With Brisk and Speed Boost up, you have you go 40.8 knots, so almost 41 knots. That's insane. That's faster than every Tier 10 cruiser except Henry with Speed Boost active. Um, and you outspot all the Tier 10 cruisers, basically, most of them. Uh... You have very accurate guns, and they overmatch 32mm, as I mentioned, 510. Here we're lining up a shot on the Columbo. Hardest hit of Columbos, but not a bad salvo, uh, almost 21k. Also, I should mention that I'm running uh, the super heavy AP skill. I'll show my, uh, my build after, but uh, I think super heavy AP on this ship is incredibly strong. Um, because you don't really care about the fire duration because of that super heal. Uh, so su super heavy AP gives you uh, over 21,000 uh, AP alpha on a citadel. There's another 17k. So, I mean, we've taken 40k off of them and two salvos uh, with only seven shells. Um, it is relatively squishy. Certainly more squishy than Schlieffen. Uh, if you show broadside in this thing, you will get clapped really, really hard. I mean, even uh, like super cruisers like Alaska, I was citadel by an Alaska uh, at like 12 kilometers in this thing. Um, but if you angle properly, uh, it has a 50 millimeter deck, it has a 102 millimeter upper belt. Um, it does have a 25 millimeter nose and stern, but it does have kind of a little icebreaker in the front. Um, I guess it, what I want to say is, 
if you show broadside, yes, you are going to suffer. You are going to get clapped extremely, extremely hard. But if you angle, you don't show broadside. Um, outside of like the rare weird citadels that you might eat, which does happen from time to time, it's not that squishy. Um, I mean, it's probably the squishiest battleship at tier ten, but that if it wasn't if it wasn't sort of squishy, it would be one of, if not the most broken ships in the game. So this is a map, uh, it's actually probably not that good for Incomparable, honestly. Uh, because it's favors long-range engagement so much, and I don't have a uh, range mod, so I gotta get pretty close. But the beautiful thing about Incomparable, and why in the hands of a good player, I think it's extremely oppressive to play against, is because of that 10.6 conceal, you can essentially never take an engagement that you don't need to. Okay, this is a really hilarious salvo. Okay, so I shoot at the Asashio. I, I mean, he dies, but if you saw, I double permad both of his back turrets. I broke both of his back turrets permanently with that salvo. Uh, with the super heavy AP skill, your overpens do um, almost 2.1k damage, which is insane. So, the game's not going particularly well so far. That was our first kill, but we lost three ships on the other side. Okay, we lost four ships. Uh, our team is getting crushed right now. Absolutely crushed. I'm, right now, I'm thinking that uh, this is going to be a quick loss. They're just going to roll through C um, before we can clean up at A, and we're just going to get smashed. Um, you don't want to brawl on this thing. I know I'm moving in right now. Uh, but because the Columbo, the other Columbo in the north is off in Narnia somewhere, um, and there's a lot of other ships around me, I'm willing to push up and take this kind of pseudo brawl with the with this other Columbo. And thankfully, he's not paying attention to me, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but, I mean, you, you can see some of these salvo. I mean, it doesn't matter that he's angled. I'm just hitting his bow and just devastating him. Oh, I should also mention, it has torpedoes. Uh, it has four on each side. Uh, Ten kilometers. So basically, daring torpedoes. Uh, you can single launch them uh, for the single launch memes. Um, I think I kill him here. So... You know, game is going still not great. We're still two ships down. We're going to lose B. C is a complete disaster. Um, that Otago, actually, that you can see in, you know, on the J line is an absolute Chad. Uh, I don't know how he lives for so long. Um, and then here we have the an Edinburgh about to get the uh, tier 8 cruiser experience against uh, the Incomparable. I don't think I sit at Elm here. I only got three overpens. I actually got pretty unlucky with that salvo. Um, so right now, uh, you can see the HP discrepancy. Um, again, we're down two caps. I'm thinking there's no possible way that we can bring this back. Um, so I'm just I'm trying to kill the Donskoy. Then I'm going to try to kill the Columbo. Then I'm going to try to kill the Edinburgh. Okay, the Donskoy gets one shot by the Augier. So we're, we're hanging, we're hanging in by a thread, and this is actually where I get kind of lucky, because if this, if this John Bard's paying attention, um, I can never make the play that I'm about to do right now. Um, also, there's a Benson spotting me, uh, and my Hydro's down, which is unfortunate. Uh, that's why I'm hard lit. There's a Benson. Uh, he pushed through the gap in B, I'm assuming. Um, but it, if this John Bard's paying attention, um, I'm flat broadside to him. He could. Potentially one-shot me. I mean, if he reload boosts me, I'm in a really bad spot. Uh, Columbo is not looking at me again, which is really nice. Uh, should take maybe one or two salvos, and we can club him out. And then my plan is to rush at the Edinburgh. But uh, while we're while we're waiting, uh, I guess I could talk a little bit about why I don't think this ship is a good addition to the game. 
um, and basically my overall thoughts on 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 the addition of of the uh, incomparable um, in the hands of a bad player. Well, let me just say this: there's two types of uh, bullshit OP ships in this game. There's the ships that are super easy to play that even a, a potato can do decently in. Um, oh, this Edinburgh suffers right here. No citadels, but 16k. Two pens and an overpen. Um, he's trying to torp rush me, which, I mean, honestly, it's kind of his only option. Um, but I have torps too. <laughs> and I reload faster. So I don't think I needed... I definitely didn't need to launch these. I didn't know if I would get the reload up. And he gets dev struck. Uh, I, I just procced Cunningham, uh, the legendary British commander, so I just got extra consumables, which is really, really nice on Incomparable, obviously. Cunningham's one of the strongest commanders in the game. Uh, so what was I saying? Um, a bad player, and then I just drilled a Columbo for 14k through the stern, because I... Overmatch 32. All right, so A flank is cleared. Um, let's look at... We're actually even on ships, um, but we're down uh, about 150k HP. I'm still not feeling very confident. They have two full HP battleships, essentially. Uh, a full HP Seattle. I don't know what the, the Kutuzov's health is, and a full HP Hindenburg. So it's looking pretty rough right now. But... Uh, As I was saying, in the in a bad player's hands, this ship is going to be bad. Because they're going to show broadside and they're going to get deleted. Make no mistake, you show broadside in this, you're going to get absolutely clapped. Like, just destroyed. Um, in a good player's hands, who knows how to utilize his concealment. Uh, his 10.6 concealment, which is disgusting. Goodbye Seattle. That's four kills, we're almost at a Kraken, we're almost at 200k. I still don't think it's winnable at this point, though. Um, in a good player's hands, as I said before, unless there's a CV perma-spotting you or there's a DD on your flank uh, perma-spotting you, you don't have to take any engagement that you don't want to. Now, this is an engagement that I really want to take. I really want to take this engagement because battleships with 32mm armor everywhere, French and uh, British battleships, suffer suffer against this ship kind of an unfortunate salvo only hit two but still 10k um thankfully the montana is really far away i don't know why the montana is so far although he is shooting at me but if i remember correctly he's shooting he Fire. um and i think the jean bar shooting he too so i'm shooting at the hindenburg because honestly the hindenburg is the biggest threat to me right now um he his HE pens my deck, and he can farm me down really fast, even though I have all my super heals left. Or I have three super heals left. Um, because my plan here is to just uh, torpedo the JB. Um, this is not a brawling ship. Like, I'm making this play still with the mind that we're not winning this game. I have 15k the Hindenburg because he can't angle to me. Because uh, I overmatch him. Again, the Jean Bart is not looking at me for some reason. I don't know what the Jean Bart's doing. Um, I shouldn't have even... Honestly, I shouldn't even have torped here. I wasted time. But... Punch him through the mouth. That's the Kraken. I don't get the achievement because test ships don't get achievements. And now, look. The Hindenburg is 12.5 from me. I just go dark here. I'm on fire, but even on fire, which makes your detection grow, even at 12.8, I'm still not spotted. So I don't even have to I don't even have to repair this fire. And that's that's what's so gross about this ship is <laughs> you, you just have so much control over the engagements that you take that it uh in a in a good player's hands you can just dominate. Uh, 
there's the Kudasov. I think right now is when I'm starting to realize, okay, I think actually we have turned this around and we're probably going to win. And there I killed the Kudasov, that is six kills. And yeah, at this point, a uh, game that was just a few minutes ago, I thought completely unwinnable. Um, I have six kills, 225k, and some more damage to acquire. Um, I mean, look at this. I'm just, I'm sitting in front of the Montana at 11 kilometers, just, just waiting, just waiting. But yeah, shout out to our Otago. He's turned around and uh, is capping C. Um, so I guess I've talked about all the strengths of the ship. What are the weaknesses of the ship? That was actually unlucky right there to not get any citadels. I was a little upset at that. What are the weaknesses of the ship? Well, as I said, it's got a 25mm bow. Um, it, but I haven't really been power smashed through the bow. The, the only significant damage that I've taken um, from like Battleship AP is when I show too much broadside and, and get smashed with citadels. Um, in my opinion, the biggest weakness is it has a only 14% torpedo belt, uh, torpedo damage reduction. So that was another unlucky shot. It's kind of bad aim. Uh, which for destroyer torps isn't a huge issue because you have the hydro, although you are really long and it is kind of difficult to dodge torps sometimes. Uh, even if you spot them with the Hydro. Um, but the real weakness is against CV torpedoes. Uh, especially carriers like Hakuryu, FDR, Nakamov, because the torpedoes do a tremendous amount of damage to you. Uh, it's Citadel damage, so you can only heal 10% of it. And... Because you're so long and have a giant turning circle, it's almost 1,200 meter turning circle, uh, they're difficult to dodge. And it basically puts you in the position of, okay, 15k on the Hindenburg there, puts you in the position of, okay, do I try to dodge these CV torpedoes and show broadside to the entire team and get one shot? Or do I just eat the torpedoes and take a tremendous amount of damage that I can't heal? Um, so that's probably the biggest weakness. Um, CVs, which, let's be real, the CVs are a weakness to almost every class in the game. Well, they are to every class in the game. Some, there's a few ships that deal with them better than others, but that's basically its biggest weakness. And, and the spotting that CV provides, which neutralizes your stealth. Um, well, uh, 274k, I want this kill, I want the seventh, my seventh kill. Um, obviously the stats don't matter because it's still in testing, but, and we get it. Here's the end screen. Uh, 277,000 damage. Only two citadels, which is pretty crazy. Almost 300k with only two citadels. I would have definitely had over 300k if I had got some more citadels, but it just shows how powerful, uh, the massive 508 millimeter shells are especially with super heavy ap uh, no tor pits either um seven kills almost 3k base uh i think the reason why is because i sh there were some low tiers in the game like i shot the only dd i shot was the asashio and i didn't do a tremendous amount of damage to him uh the jean bard i did a lot of damage to um but still you know I i'm not sure that I could have carried this game in any other ship, to be completely honest. I mean, maybe, but it seemed like this was like the perfect game uh, for for an incomparable. And some of the detailed damage. Um, 55k to the Colombo, 52k to the Hindenburg, 52k to the Edinburgh, uh, 34k to the other Colombo, 24k to the Jean Bar, 19k to the Seattle. I received 130k in damage, uh, which is almost twice my HP pool. 
Um, it was mostly in HE and Fires, only 28k uh, in AP. I also I ate an Edinburgh torpedo. Um, the as I said during the game, if like their Montana and Jean Bart shot AP at me, especially when I was flat brought to the Jean Bart, I mean this never would have happened. I mean that, sometimes these these good games, a lot of times these good games only happen because uh, your enemy misplays. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, let's take a little look at it in port, the armor scheme, uh, and I'll also give my final thoughts and whether I recommend this ship or not. So, as I mentioned before, it's got the 25mm uh, bow, 25mm stern, um, but it does have these plates right here, so, you know, if you kind of angle like this and they shoot the bow, they're not going to punch through it and get citadels. Um, I really haven't eaten a tremendous amount of damage bow on. Um, I had a Thunder shooting at me with AP bow on from pretty close, and he wasn't really doing much damage. Um, the deck is 51 millimeters, so it's pretty resilient to HE spam. Upper belt, 102, so again, resilient to HE spam. The armor belt, the, armor, the Citadel belt itself, is only 279. So that's quite low for a battleship or battle cruiser, which is why if you do show broadside, you will get Citadel. Um, it does have a little turtle back. I don't know how much this actually helps. Um, in my experience, it doesn't seem to really stop any citadels. Maybe like a uh, heavy cruiser AP, like 203s, it'll stop. But any any relatively high caliber guns should have no issue citadeling you. Um, and then the torpedo belt, 14%. That's really bad. And that's why it suffers so much against aircraft carrier torpedoes. So, my final thoughts. Oh, my, uh, getting ahead of myself. I want to show my build. Uh, this is the captain build that I run on it. Um, as I said before, I'm using Cunningham. Um, one point skill. It, and keep in mind, this is just for incomparable. Uh, I wouldn't. If you share this with like a Thunderer and you have the same captain as like the Conqueror, I wouldn't run this build. I would run a different build. So, this is just for incomparable. Um, I didn't really know what to take for the one point skill, but since it's Cunningham boost this, uh, gives you minus 12.5% uh, reload time to your spotter plane. Uh, and since the spotter plane is pretty handy, since your range isn't great, it's actually been pretty good for me. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with going with this skill. Risk, as I mentioned before, I think it's incredibly strong on all battleships, but especially a battleship that's fast. It gets you to almost 41 knots, 40.8, with speed boost up, which is ridiculous. Adrenaline rush, because it's one of the best skills in the game. The super heavy AP for the plus 0.7%, which puts your AP alpha to almost 21,000, which is insane. So, just, I mean, just insane. Uh, and then just the standard heals, concealment, fire prevention. For the equipment, um, main armaments mod one, whatever. Uh, I like the speed boost mod. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that this has an extended speed boost time compared to other ships, it, because with the mod, the speed boost lasts like four minutes, and I don't think, except for like French destroyers and BBs. That's the normal speed boost time, even with the speed boost mod. Dispersion. Uh, this one is an interesting one. Usually I'll take prop mod, but because it has Royal Navy Acceleration, if I didn't mention that earlier, that's another thing it has is Royal Navy Acceleration. Uh, so it accelerates super fast, like a, like a Minotaur. Um, you can't take prop mod. So I would say it's between either this or steering gears. Um... I went with this because, one, I have super heavy AP, so reducing a little bit of the fires is good. And also, the rudder shift of 16 isn't that bad. What really lets it down in the turning is the almost 1,200 meter turning circle. So I don't think taking rudder shift is that good. Concealment, obviously, so you can get down to 10.6. 
And this is where most people are going to have, I guess, differing opinions. I just think that reload is better. I think 17.6 kilometer range is just fine uh, when you have all this concealment to work with. Okay, so my final thoughts and would I recommend it? Uh, I don't think I got to finish uh, my thought earlier when uh, I was in the replay, but there's two types of overpowered ships in this game. There's ships uh, like Petro and FDR where you can be a potato and still do well in them, or at least decently well. And then there's ships uh, like Smolensk, for example, where the average potato is going to get deleted in two minutes, but uh, Unicum is going to farm 200k damage, and you can't really touch him. This ship falls into the latter category of, in a bad player's hands, it's not going to be that strong. It's not going to be that scary. He's going to show broadside, and he's going to get deleted. In a good player's hands, the ship is terrifying. Uh, you can't really play against it in almost any ship um, except destroyers but even then it has hydro um, even like open water gunboat destroyers you need to get within 10.6 to spot him uh, before you can start farming which you know he hits you with a couple shells it's 2k overpens so and it'll take you forever to burn him down because of a super heal um, cruisers uh, are going to suffer against this thing really, really badly. I mean, it outspots a Des Moines, and it overmatches him everywhere. Um, what does a Des Moines do against this? Nothing, really. It just dies. Um, like, this is a ship that, in a Unicum's hands, is not healthy for the game. Um, so, would I recommend it? <laughs> if you're... A good player? Absolutely. I think it's really fun, but I enjoy overpowered things. Um, it's also very unique. Um, if you're a average to below average player who tends to, you know, eat citadels and show broadside and stuff, I would not recommend this. I would not, re not recommend this at all because you're going to suffer. But if you know how to manage your concealment, take smart engagements, uh, not overextend, all that type of stuff. Um, you're gonna smash people in this thing, and there's very, there's very little outside of a carrier or a DD perma spotting you that people can do against you. Uh, so that's pretty much all I got. Uh, leave your thoughts, any questions, uh, or any suggestions for any future reviews. Um, maybe I'll do more of these ship reviews if people enjoy it. Um, I will be getting the incomparable when it drops, um, in the next patch in a few days. And, uh, I'm excited to play it, although I'm not excited to play against it, uh, if there's a good player on the other side, because it's not fun. I've experienced it. Alrighty. Have a good one, guys. Love y'all. Cheers.